Hey beautiful souls, today we will be discussing how to release stress from the body to improve your health. I will review all the different activities you can do to reduce stress levels. I will talk about the negative impact not releasing stress can have on your body. And I will also give you some coping techniques you can use when you have a hard time trying to process or reduce your stress levels. Today, I will not stress over things I can't control. There are different ways to recognize and reduce your stress levels, and the main one would be to find out what your stress triggers are. Once you find out what is the source of your stress, you can start taking steps to move away from constant triggers in your life, so that you can create a more peaceful environment. A lot of times when people have been stressed for so long, they start misdirecting their anger where it is not needed or start extending their emotions of stress throughout the day or week with all or nothing comments like I had a bad day or this week was so stressful. But was every single moment of every single day stressful or did one or two bad things go wrong and you let those incidents keep you in an angry or stressed mood for the entire day or week? This is why you have to find out what exact trigger is causing your stress. Was it a situation that happened or was it a person? Can this situation or person be avoided in the future? Do you have to engage with this stress trigger every day or is it only some days out of the week? Is this something that you can control or is this something you have no control over? And is this stress work specific, travel or commute specific, or is it with friends or family? These questions can help you break down what is actually stressing you out so that You can compartmentalize each trigger and deal with each of them separately and not misdirect your feelings in spaces that should actually be more peaceful. Try out yoga and meditation to strengthen your body and mind. When you practice these, you can learn how to focus on your breath work, activating your parasympathetic nervous system, which calms you down in the process. These practices will help you learn how to not fixate on thoughts that arise because you will be focused on your movements or breathing instead. These exercises can also improve your sleep patterns, which can also reduce your stress levels. When it comes to your sleep schedule, adults need at least 7 to 9 hours of sleep to function properly and to restore the body. Not getting enough sleep can cause irritability and stress to roll over into the next day. I have a whole separate video on the benefits of getting more sleep, which I'll link down below. If yoga doesn't interest you, then regular exercise like weightlifting or cardio can help to release stress. Exercising releases tension in the muscles and produces serotonin in the brain that can relieve negative feelings. It also releases dopamine in the brain, which can help improve your energy levels and your overall mood. Another great practice for reducing stress is practicing gratitude every single day. Going over what you are grateful for each day can remind you what is important and what is not. Being able to look back on your day and find all the little amazing things that did happen helps you shift your mindset from what is not working in your life to what is, and you will find more appreciation for the good moments in your life, which will make you happier. A year from now, everything you're stressing about won't mean a thing. Be thankful, smile more, spend more time with family, and don't stress the small things. This is our one chance at life. Don't let anyone or anything take away your happiness. Meet ya, Prakash. Stress can affect your physical and mental health and even shorten your lifespan. 
According to the American Psychological Association, stress can put you at an increased risk for a variety of physical and mental health problems, including anxiety, depression, digestive issues, headaches, muscle tension and pain, heart disease, heart attack, high blood pressure, stroke, sleep problems, weight gain, and memory and concentration impairment. From the outside of our body all the way down to our internal system, stress causes an imbalance in our health. Starting with our muscles, when the body is feeling stressed, it causes your muscles to tense up to protect you from pain or any injuries that might happen during the stressful situation. But if you never relax your muscles, then they can cause chronic stress in the body, which can lead to headaches, clenched jaw, or pain in your shoulders or neck area. The next stage is your breathing. When the body feels fear or stress, your breathing starts to change and you can experience shortness of breath or rapid breathing that can lead to hyperventilation or panic attacks. I have a separate video on the benefits of mindful breathing that can give you more information on how to relax your body with breath work, which I will link down below. If you aren't able to relax, your chronic stress can start to affect your cardiovascular health. If you have short-term stress, your body will trigger your fight or flight response and you will get a rush of adrenaline that causes your heart rate to increase and cause stronger heart muscle contractions to keep you awake, alert, and ready to face the cause of your stress. But when your short-term stress becomes chronic, then the constant hits of adrenaline will cause your blood pressure to keep spiking and can ultimately damage your heart muscles and blood vessels and can eventually lead to an increased risk of hypertension, heart attack, or stroke. Stress can also negatively impact your immune system. On a non-stressful day, the body releases cortisol throughout the day to provide energy to the body usually high levels in the morning that decrease throughout the day. But when you are in a stressful situation, the body triggers the release of cortisol no matter what time of day it is, which can harm the natural cycles of the body. And according to the American Psychological Association, can lead to numerous physical and mental health conditions, including chronic fatigue, metabolic disorders, e.g. diabetes, obesity, depression, and immune disorders. And finally, stress can negatively impact your gut microbiome and gastrointestinal health. There is a connection between your brain and your gut health. The gut has actually been called our second brain. The chronic stress can affect this brain-gut communication. Constantly being in a state of stress can cause constipation, gut pain, and bloating, and can affect the bacteria in the gut microbiome, which can negatively impact the body's ability to think and can affect your emotions. Set boundaries. Setting boundaries is important for your mental health and your emotional health. When you set boundaries, you put limits on what you find acceptable or unacceptable in your relationships, which will cause less stressful situations. The more negative situations you involve yourself with, whether at work or with friends and family, the more stress will continue. You need to prioritize yourself and your health so that you can function to the best of your ability. Prioritize what is most important. Sometimes stress is caused by trying to do too many things at once. Set a limit on what you're going to work on so you don't try to accomplish everything. List three to five things you need to complete today in the order of importance and then leave the rest for the next day. Or if you just don't want to do the task yourself because it makes you stressed out, use a service or automatic device to help you depending on what the task is. If you don't want to go grocery shopping, have them delivered. If you don't want to wash clothes, drop them off at the laundromat or dry cleaner to be picked up later. You can also invest in automatic coffee makers, 
toaster ovens, or a robot vacuum cleaner that only needs to be scheduled or set on a timer and will make your life a little easier. Do something just for fun. Stress can also be caused by overworking, so it is important to have some time to yourself to have fun, let loose, and remember not to take life so seriously. Life is meant to have good and bad times, but if you're constantly feeling like there are never any good times, then you have to step back from everything in your life and analyze it to notice what is not giving you joy and happiness and replace it with activities that make you laugh, feel alive and happy and adventurous, and then you will feel more balance in your life. Thank you for watching. I hope this information is helpful to you. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more holistic living tips.